<laughs> it tells you all mm -hmm. what it is on the side there. All oh, right, there it goes. Yeah, so this is a Dell XPS 30 notebook, a 9300 in silver. It's a 13 inch, 13.4 inch Ultra HD touch display with an Intel Core i7. I'm not going to read all that processor. 16 gig of memory and one terabyte solid state memory. And we've bought this to replace our old XPS 13. Replace. This one. It's about which, five years old, isn't it? I think it's five years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, which is done brilliantly. Mm. Been a really good laptop. You're going to use that one, aren't you? Yeah, because my PC is 11 years old. Yeah, PC is 11 years old. So, <laughs> so it still I think, works. So but... I think we've earned this. So it's a bit of a present uh, for, bir for our birthdays. And look, so we've had a new PC for get on for five years. How long have we been buying Dell PCs? Oh we, we love Dell. We always, always like Dell. We used to recommend Dell. We just knew that they'd work. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Can't get in it. Yeah that's quite difficult. Yeah. I'm in it. I mean if I look at those old photos and I'm trying to think when did I I had a 486 something or other, didn't I? Yeah. That was my first one. Yeah. We did think about getting the bigger one, but to be honest, size is the important thing, I think. Roughly the same size. It's actually slightly, slightly smaller. And it seems slightly like thinner, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it's, it no, I think it's. Way. It's difficult to tell, but it is definitely slightly smaller. Mm. The reason for the smallness. I'm going to figure out to get in this. Thank you. Right, I'm it's a different, slightly different silver as well, isn't it? Mm. Is that? That's got quite dark. Quite a dark silver, and this is quite a a light silver. Mm. And the reason for the reduction in size is the screen, isn't it? Because the screen goes well. These are bezels, aren't they? What they call bezels. The biggest bezel is across the top, and that's where the camera is. Mm. If you've got any juice in it, you should follow them. Yeah, little sport guides and like Christmas. Little lead. It charge. This is a charging lead, and it charges via a USB C rather than a sort of a power lead type thing. This this one, the old one did. The old it's one got, had a yeah, got a round. The old one got a round. Thing yeah, it got a round thing. So on the old one, can just put bring that back. So on the old one, we had a power socket, a USB C and a USB USB B in that on that side, and on the other side there was an SD card slot and a USB-B port. On this one, all you've got is a USB-C and a USB-C. So there are less ports on this, but we've, we've ordered a port adapter, which I hope is coming separately. Yeah, it's got a micro SD slot as well. So oh. that's where your little SD card goes. Go this was bigger because they used to be bigger. Didn't it was a they? full size SD yeah. card slot on that one. So it's a nice box though. <laughs> All black. Very well presented. Put that there. Yeah. Tells you how to charge it on this. If you just <laughs> you can work that one out, can't you? Yeah, I think we can work that out. 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't realise it came with a USB-C to B adapter anyway, but we have ordered a port because you might want to pl plug printers and keyboards and all sorts of other things into it. It doesn't really tell you too much there, does it? <laughs> tells you where everything is, tells you how to switch it on. Should we switch it on? What? I like when I went, went to switch my phone on. Well, it's a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the crazy thing is that these are almost as expensive as phones anyway, aren't they? Got a new laptop, Poppy. Shut the door for you, don't I? Supposed to be able to open it open one hand. Yeah, I forgot that you were supposed to be able supposed to do to, that. Just yeah. go like that, yeah. Yeah. Might have to move over a little bit. Oh, since they've done it. It will be because the internal battery is not charged. I don't believe in printing like loads of different uh, versions of the guide, do they? Because it takes a little bit longer when it's started for new. Just a moment. Uh, why not get English? It says English United States. And give me a English UK, but so we're going to adjust that later. Hi there, <laughs> I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. God, Cortana, you made me jump. <laughs> no, you used to get this help in the past, did you? <laughs> Is it meant to be doing something? Then? A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Let's get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of expecting it to sort of respond, don't you? <laughs> you? Get the feeling it's doing something in the background and uh, mm -hmm. probably gone back in the lounge. Got a bit boring for her. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Okay. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Come on, let's start digging. <laughs> well, I think it was easier with the setup, Well, I don't know if it's expecting me to say something. Let's dig in. <laughs> Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? No. Now it's correct. Your keyboard is set to United Kingdom. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. I started listening. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Just what I need, cat videos. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Connect. Yes. Now type your credentials. Right. Got to remember that. So look away, everyone. Um, I hope I've remembered it correctly. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Now we have some important setup to do. <laughs> now let's see what's new from Windows. Oh, good. <laughs> Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select Accept to use Windows. You can decl Yeah, yeah. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Right, okay. Windows Hello gives you a couple of options for signing in speedily and securely. Would you prefer to use your fingerprint or your face? Well, which do you want to use? 
I'm on my phone I was using the face but I do find that you hold it up and it's comes on I'll use fingerprint then. use fingerprint follow the instructions to teach your PC to read your fingerprints want to set up a pin yes Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing, even when you switch devices. Just choose Yes to sync your activities. Want to automatically save files and photos to OneDrive for some added peace of mind? Uh, yes, I do. Let's just set it asking for permissions on the phone whilst I'm doing that. Right. you getting ahead of you there. Yeah, it's rushing ahead. Just a minute, Cortana. <laughs> I've got a subscription, I mean, you so I now obviously need to, I'll need to put Hey, that. look, oh, that's oh, me, manager. Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? <laughs> yes, you can. Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. Now, choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to help you with directions, weather, and more. Okay. And if you ever lose your device, here's where you get to choose if you want help finding it. Okay. Next, choose whether or not you want to help Microsoft diagnose and fix issues. Okay. Going for the full... And if you want to help improve language recognition and suggestions for apps and services that run on Windows, you can choose to do that here. Okay, okay, okay. If you want tips, offers, and suggestions that are tailored to you, just select Accept. Yeah, I might be turning this down. Last up for these settings, choose whether or not you want your ads to be more relevant to you. Still Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Hi. Right, so do I go about getting office on here then? Yeah, we were, we were just trying to figure out how to install Office on there, and uh, I just thought, well, I'll, I'll see if it's already on here. So I type Word in the search box, and it came up with Word, and we've already got it on there. It's because you've logged into I've logged into Microsoft, mm. and it knows what you've got. So we've got all the programs. So I didn't have to install anything. It's too easy, isn't it? You step down to have the license keys and yeah, yeah. Sorts of things. So yeah, so Office is installed, yeah, and it have, has access to my OneDrive. Right, so um, I suppose Outlook is the next thing, isn't it? Make sure I can get into Outlook. Right, I've set up my laptop and I've got most of my programs on there. I've got um, Adobe Premiere Elements on there and Adobe Photoshop Elements, um, all the your sort of Microsoft stuff, and a couple of other little programs, no real issues. I and mean, the only issue really I've had with it is that it hasn't got enough USB ports. What you've got, you've got the one USB-C there and the one USB-C there so there's only two USBs so what I've I ordered and I'm glad I did is one of these USB-C to USB-A uh, adapters you can plug the power lead into a USB-C there and it provides power 
through to the laptop but it also allows me to connect my external hard drive so I can back things up and also the GoPro and what I found was if I plugged the GoPro into one of the USB-C ports it just wasn't detecting it at all it wasn't working so now I should be able to plug it into this device here so let's just do that so I've got some battery yeah I've got some battery in there I just plug this in using the USB-A yeah it's detecting it now it's just setting it up because I haven't connected the Aero 7 before oh there we go took a while for that to, to think about it that's it so I can now import files just by connecting it there we go importing files yeah, there it goes, it's important the files. Yeah, so that's quite handy. So you get two USB A's, that's a power in for it, and that goes to there. So you've got plenty of options. So I can use the hard disk. I've still got another port over there free. So that's well worth having. But the laptop itself has been brilliant. Really like the laptop. It's nice and portable, it's light and uh, it's fast. It does it well, it certainly does a lot of a lot of things a lot quicker. I've not really used it for much editing yet, but the rendering seems to sort of be pretty speedy. Just open the up the bit of footage I was editing for this. So well, that's uh, what's that? That's 14 minutes of footage, and we'll probably cut it down. So I'm going to see how long it takes to uh, render it. Yeah, so it's a 14 minute bit of footage. Let's start it now. Three minutes, one second, point three eight to render 14 minutes of footage. That's pretty impressive. One of the better things about this laptop is that it's got a built-in webcam which is up there somewhere and down. Previously it was down bottom of the laptop so it ended up sort of looking up your nose. It wasn't the best, best flattering view. Now I've now worked out I can plug in a microphone. didn't think there was a microphone stroke headphone socket on here. Tiny little thing here is a little bit hidden. But it seems to work, and I've got these these mics up here. Yeah, they should be working now. Yeah, I'm very happy with this uh, little laptop. The only thing I would say is I'm not sure. Whoop, I'm not sure that this device has enough power to power the uh, backup battery as well as the GoPro. So for safety's sake, I'm just going to use it on that side. But yeah, just copying some files off. But yeah, it's a brilliant little laptop. Well pleased with it. I mean, it's the only sort of issue with the laptop is the lack of ports. Um, the other laptop came with one USB-C, two USB-A's, uh, a head a headphone socket and an SD card. This is just USB-C and an SD card. But uh, other than that, happy with it. And uh, if you enjoyed this or found it interesting, give us a thumbs up. Got any questions, leave a comment and hit that notifications icon and ring the little bell and you'll get updates when we release another video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.